Ulrich Schmidl. Ulrich Schmidl or Schmidl, 1510 in Straubing, 1579 in Regensburg, was a German Landsknecht, conquistador, explorer, chronicler and councilman. Schmidl was, beside Hans Staden, one of the few Landsknechts who wrote down their experiences. Biography Schmidl was the son of a wealthy merchant, and received a good education. He entered military service and took part 1534 as a Lance Connect under Pedro de Mendoza in an expedition to today's Argentina, Rio de la Plata. He also accompanied Juan de Aeolas on his first trip in quest of provisions, and afterward went with Aeolas in his expedition up Paraguay River, and was one of the soldiers that were left with Domingo Irali in charge of the vessels in Porto La Candelaria, modern Fuerte Olimpo. When Cabeza de Baca was deposed in April 1544, Schmidl sustained Arala, who was the new governor, and in 1546 accompanied him in his expedition to Peru as far as the foot of the Andes, where he was dispatched with Nuno de Chavez to President La Gasca. He accompanied Arala on his last unfortunate expedition of 1550. He became a founder of Buenos Aires. His journey led him across the Rio Paraná and Rio Paraguay and into today's Paraguay, where he helped to found Asuncion. From there he undertook several expeditions in the Gran Chaco, which led him into southeast Bolivia. In 1552, on learning of the death of his elder brother to whose estate he was to succeed, Schmidl obtained his discharge. In Seville, he presented to the Council of the Indies letters from Irala with the report of his discoveries, and arrived toward the close of 1554 in Straubing, where he afterward resided. He had kept a diary during his wanderings, and wrote a narrative of his adventures under the title of Baragashishta ein er Merkwardigen Reise, Gemacht der Schulrich Schmidl von Straubingen, in America oder der Neuen Welt, von 1534 bis 1554, wo man find det alles in 19 Jahren, und die Beschreibung der Länder und Merkwardigen Volker der Gesehen, von ihm selbst geschrieben. The true story of a noteworthy trip made by Ulrich Schmidl van Straubingen in America or the New World from 1534 to 1554, where will be found all his troubles of 19 years and the description of lands and noteworthy peoples he saw, described by himself, Frankfurt, 1557, of which a Latin version appeared in Nuremberg in 1599 as Vera Historia, etc. Honore Turno published a translation of the work in his voyages, Relations et Memoir Origino pour servir à l'histoire de la découverte de l'Amérique, Recoita Documents sur la Floride, 20 volume, 1837-1841, and Andres González de Barcia in his Historiadores Primitivos de Indias. Schmidl thus became the first historian of Argentina. Much of his account in the German language overlaps with an account written in Spanish by Alvar Núñez Cabeza de Baca, who was adelantado at the governorate of the Rio de la Plata between 1540 and 1545. Their accounts, one by a German mercenary, another by a Spanish nobleman, offer stark differences in point of view. 35 to 40. His narrative gives the names and tells of the habits and manner of living of many Indian nations that were extinct a century later. Perhaps the most fascinating parts of his accounts are those that attribute cannibalism not to the South American natives, but rather to the desperate conquistadors who were unsuited for survival in the rough climate, and would frequently consume one another in an effort to escape starvation. A particularly notable account states that Spaniards who were hung, and while barely dead, were hacked up by their fellow countrymen, and devoured. 37. After his return to Straubing with a few pieces of booty, he inherited the fortune of his deceased brother, and became a councilman. Because of religious strife he had to leave Straubing and went in 1562 to Regensburg, where he died around 1579. Notes Sources External links <laughs>